Hello dear friends, myself Dr. Shrikant Verma, Faculty of Anatomy at Cerebellum Academy. Today's MCQ, which is not a branch of the facial artery in the face. Yes, this question had been asked in our INICT 2020-22 pattern. Options are A. Lateral nasal B. Mental C. is Superior labial and D. is Inferior labial artery. Let's crack this question from the basics to the top clinical level and then we will go for our three dimensional orientation also so catch this diagrammatic presentation suppose this is our face this is chin margin of mandible angle of mandible here is the ear just behind the ear mastoid process and this is our occipital area Yes, we are showing the neck part and here is our scalp and the cranial vault. For the beauty of the image, we are drawing the eyebrows and the eyes. Now, we all are aware that the main arterial supply of the head neck face is by the common carotid artery. Correct, sir. It is dividing into the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. We all know there are the eight branches of the external carotid artery in which three are anterior. Yes, first is our ascending pharyngeal artery, next is superior thyroid artery and another one is facial artery. What you have to remember, sir, this is our external carotid artery. Yes, you can mention here, this is common carotid artery. Here is internal carotid artery. This is external carotid artery. The external carotid artery is giving one branch which is running for the face. Yes. So this is the facial artery which is showing the zigzag course. Correct, sir. It is winding along the inferior border of, yes, margin of mandible and then it is coming out on the surface just along the anterior border of the masseter insertion yes here this artery is palpable mcq this artery is used by the anesthetics for the palpation of the vitals during the surgery that's why the facial artery is also considered as the anesthetist artery now this artery is running with the zigzag course it is running 1.2 centimeter lateral to the angle of mouth then it is running along the lateral part of the nose and ending at the medial angle of the eye so you can easily see जो आर्टरी जिधर रहती है जिधर बहती है उधर अपनी ब्रांचेस देती चलती है सिंपल जो नदी जहां रहती है जहां बहती है उस एरिया को सप्लाई करती है सो इट विल गिव वन ब्रांच टू द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द नोज सर इट इज इंफीरियर लेबियल आर्टरी इट इज गिविंग द ब्रांच टू द अपर लिप सर सुपीरियर लेबियल आर्टरी इट इज गिविंग द ब्रांच टू द नोज फ्रॉम द लैटरल साइड सर इट इज लैटरल नेजल आर्टरी and it is terminating at the medial angle of the eye. Yes, it is our angular artery. So you can easily catch these points again. Labeling for all of you, sir. It is our facial artery, which is giving the different branches. First, you can say the superior labial artery. The next artery is our, yes, inferior labial artery. The next artery you can say, sir, this one is lateral nasal artery. Also, you can say branch and it is terminating as our, yes, angular artery. Getting the point? Also, it will give many unnamed muscular branches. So, these are the main branches from the facial artery. So, you can easily crack this MCQ. Yes, which is not a branch of the facial artery in the face. So, you can say, sir, lateral nasal artery, it is the branch. Superior labial and inferior labial, these all are the branches. But a mental artery, it is not the branch. Remember, the mental artery at the mental region, it is continuation of the inferior alveolar artery which is the branch of the maxillary artery so in this question answer is b yes but little clinical integration you can see the facial artery is the main artery of the face the face is having the very rich blood supply so it heals properly so remember hollywood bollywood tollywood integration all the beautiful heroines they are going for the plastic surgery because our 
head neck area our face area is having the rich blood supply another clinical point you have to remember that this facial art is palpable along the lower margin of the mandible yes it is known as the anesthetist artery yes one another point you can observe here this is the medial angle of the eye here the angular artery is anastomosing with the dorsal nasal artery which is the branch of the ophthalmic artery which is coming from the internal carotid artery so one very old kind of the question pattern this medial angle of the eye is the classical site for the anastomosis between internal carotid artery and external carotid artery yes for the image based practice you can observe this beautiful image you can see here the arteries yes sir this is our common carotid artery which is dividing into the internal and this is the external running artery external carotid artery it is giving the two terminal branches yes maxillary artery and this is the superficial temporal artery we will see in the different video but can you see this one sir this is our facial artery which is running with the zigzag course yes sir it is giving the first branch inferior labial artery you can see it is running upside it is giving the superior labial artery you can see this artery is running along the medial angle of the eye it is known as the angular artery also you can see sir this is the site at the chin area at the mental area from the mental foramen the mental artery is coming out which is actually continuation of the inferior alveolar artery which is coming from the our maxillary artery let's see our three dimensional orientation also so that you can catch easily this all the point yes sir can you see this beautiful image three dimensional orientation just like the iron man just like the toy star rotate it and feel it yes sir you can observe this is our common carotid artery you can observe it is dividing into the internal carotid artery which is going inside the cranial cavity and you can observe there is another branch which is external carotid artery yes sir this is the external carotid artery it is running externally it is running externally yes it is making the superficial temporal artery it is making the transverse yes it is it will make the maxillary artery which is going towards the maxilla we will see in that separate segment but okay fine yes you can observe this is our facial artery correct sir the branch from the external carotid artery it is winding along the lower margin of mandible it is attached it is palpable just in front of the masseter along the inferior border of the mandible it is having the zigzag course yes it will give the inferior labial artery then it is running upside it will give the superior labial artery it is running close to the nose part so it will give the lateral nasal artery and at the medial part of the eye yes medial angle of the eye it will divide it will give the branch that is the angular artery so this is all about our facial artery it is important remember in our inict pattern the head neck face and the neuroanatomy is most important with the clinical integration hope you all will enjoy this session so enjoy your everything every part of the life and many people they will just do leg pulling for you remember always jisko jo kehna hai kehne do apna kya jata hai ye waqt waqt ki baat hai aur waqt sabhi ka aata hai so just wait for your time all the best god bless you all